Hi guys, Lord Vader here. Um, since NT8 has NT8 on the porch, I'm going to do Lord Vader in the shop. Um, kind of a takeoff, a little bit. I uh, bought some items, and I kind of wanted to share them a little bit. I'm looking at uh, doing some um, um, travel riding a little bit uh, with a couple of friends of mine that I've hooked up the last year, and. Uh, we've got a little uh, thing going in uh, the end of uh, June, and that's kind of my first start. I usually drive ride locally around here, <clears throat> but I'm uh, going to venture out a little bit. But anyways, um, I bought a few items, uh, just kind of wanted to share them. But anyways, I, um, I bought a pair of gloves, a uh, newer pair, pair of uh, cold riding gloves. Um, got a hell of a deal on them. Uh, I know there's all kinds. I still like the pair that NT8 has. Uh, that's the thing down the road. Bought me, uh, you can see me vest. Um, that's, uh, you know, on the jacket, over the jacket thing. Bought me these, uh, bags. Comes with, um, a bigger bag. I'll show you in a minute. Um, for, you know, hauling my clothes. These are weatherproof, or, or, or I'm sorry, uh, rainproof. If they're weatherproof, that'd be impressive. Rainproof. Um, really nice. Got them from, uh, through uh, um, a uh, super motorcycle store. And I bought myself a, um, a, a new uh, Jivy box. Uh, it... Um, it's the uh, V46 model, and um, I um, been wanting one, a, a top box. I bought a a junk junky one, kind of uh, a couple years ago, and um, it just wasn't uh, it wasn't that good a quality. It wasn't. It was, it, it, it uh, the plate, the mounting plate for it uh, wasn't designed for my bike. I had to do some modifications on it. And go tooling down the road, it wanted to uh, shake like you wouldn't believe. And I was uh, really paranoid of seeing that visual scene in my rear view mirror of it uh, bouncing on the pavement uh, behind me. So I said, okay, well, probably time to get something new and better. Um, yeah, again, it's the uh, Jivy V46 model, mono key. Uh, it's a nice one. Uh, I mean, it's you could tell the different quality. Uh, it's heavier. It's um, definitely uh, waterproof. It's got a real good seal on it. Um, it's got the uh, nice document holder on there. I did not get it with the brake lights uh, or the light kit installed. Uh, I'm going to do that my own on my my own. Um, I got the flat black because down the road I may take this off and may paint this, um, uh, either the color of my bike or something. I'm not sure yet. That's, uh, that's an afterthought. So, uh, but the, the bright, the light kit is something that, uh, they want it's like $60 for the light kit. And, um, I might, I might do something different. I'm not sure if I do decide to get it. It's, I could buy it, but um, the mounting plate for it, I liked how they um, uh, specialized the, the mounting plate specifically for my bike. Uh, Jivy uh, offers the uh, correct mounting plate. So, read a lot of reviews, uh, a lot of YouTube stuff on it. Um, and it's large enough that it'll haul whatever stuff I need. Storage is, you know, one of those things. But, um, it uh, much better quality than what I had um, on these. I, I something I didn't realize, but when you buy cheap, you uh, are going to get cheap. And I just had those um, paranoid uh, nightmare feelings about uh, seeing that other one just tossing down the road. So this one here is uh, definitely was definitely the way to go. Um, I like how it's secured better on the plate. Um, I like what Jivy's done to them. 
uh, much much better way to go. But anyways, the other bag that I got, which part is which is part of that bag, is this one here, and it's uh, actually meant for a sissy bar. Uh, it's got the uh, strappings for the sissy bar, but I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to actually uh, mount it to the backrest uh, on my on my existing bike, uh, or behind that uh, sits in front of the uh, jivvy box. But inside, lots of storage. I mean, holy smokes! Um, I love the storage of this thing. Um, I've got my uh, I put my uh, just this is just kind of a a starter, if you will. I, I, I really is I'm not I don't, don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this, but anyways, it's just, just kind of that's my rain suit that I bought at a motorcycle the Motor, motorcycle international show. Um, this is my camping pillow, and this is my new sleeping bag that I bought. Um, got a good deal on that one too. Uh, it's uh, down to 30 degrees. Not that I'm going to try to camp in something like that. But uh, when it's 30 degrees, I'm not sleeping outside. But I'm a I'm an RVer uh, uh, by default. I've got a a 40 foot travel trailer that I normally camp in, but uh, a little tough to haul that behind a bike. So I'm going to venture out and kind of do this. Uh, motorcycle adventure thing a little bit uh, with a couple buddies of mine that ride and um, kind of looking forward to that actually I think it'll be a lot of fun uh, I got plenty of storage in these bags uh, pouches for uh, stuff I'm building a, a little tool kit to uh, take with me uh, I know there's so many variations of tool kits to take but I um, uh, want to uh, kind of feel the waters on that a little bit. Uh, that's part of the toolkit there. Um, it's still a work in progress, if you will. But uh, I've um, bought a couple of things. I bought a um, a uh, this is one of the uh, cargo nets. I bought one of these for uh, basically. I'm going to strap onto this to uh, hold it to the. Um, to the either the uh, the top box or I might um, uh, also looking at buying maybe the top rack for the uh, there's a rack that I can buy that goes on top of the box here and I might uh, add that on top of here and then I could set that and cargo net it down with that lots of options uh, with this new box this gives me a lot of options. Uh, it's, again, it's you know better quality, um, uh, better way to go. Um, I bought uh, from uh, Smyrna Cowboy. Give me this idea. I bought one of these booster roos because uh, I've got uh, satellite radio on my bike, and I it's hard to hear through my Cardo. Uh, I got the scale of Cardo. And the volume's only so loud, so you have to amplify it. And the speaker's inside my helmet. And I bought a booster. Uh, Smyrna Cowboy uses it, and uh, he told me that uh, it works really well. So I bought one of these. I'm going to use hook one of these dudes up. I uh, bought another little item. Uh, I'm always paranoid of voltage on a bike because I know you start throwing all kinds of things on them. You have to be real careful. So I bought one of these. Uh, this is a Kurkin. Uh, it's the uh, voltage monitor. Uh, lots of good reviews on it. Uh, expensive, but uh, really handy. Uh, it's a real tattletale on how things are going on the bike uh, in the electrical system. Uh, I'm going to play with that, get that hooked up. But anyways, it's just a, again, a, uh, just a video, just kind of showing what I'm up to a little bit, uh, a little bit about me. Uh, uh, in regards to instead of me just uh, showing up on the uh, vlogs of uh, painting uh, the bike, uh, the Honda project for my daughter and stuff. But anyways, uh, you know, I work for the local government, uh, 30 some years in here. And uh, I uh, don't have any plans of retiring, at least not soon. 
but uh, I um, let me set this down here. Uh, again, no plans of retiring. Uh, I got a couple years that I could go, but uh, I'm gonna probably stick it out a little longer. Probably another five or eight. Um, but um, I work in the computer electronic field. Um, again, I have for about 30 years. Started out in the hollow state, uh, which was I, I call a hollow state with tubes, to solid state, and started out in computers, you know, the old 8088s, the Rainbows, the uh, Commodores, uh, all the way up to the uh, the newest highest level, you know, uh, networking stuff. I have degrees and all that stuff. But anyways, not trying to brag or nothing, but thought thought I'd kind of do a little video, short video of me uh, with some stuff I was venturing into and. Um, and a little bit more about me, um, and uh, as my handle is, is uh, you know, Lord Darth Vader, uh, 1701. I know it's a some. Uh, I had a guy ask me. He says, "Okay, which one do you like, Star Wars or Star Trek?" Because 1701 is the uh, Enterprise's numbers. But I like them both. Uh, Darth Vader, cool. Uh, he's a man. Um, but. Um, Anyways, uh, in fact, I've got a little Darth Vader uh, helmet, or his uh, uh, helmet uh, piece that I'm going to mount on my bike somewhere. I've got to figure out where I'm going to do it, but i got to put this on there. If I'm like Darth Vader, i got to put it on there. can't put the Enterprise on it. So, anyways, that's it for now.